Welcome friends, in this video, let's learn about National Wetland Conservation Program and important wetland uh, that are present in India. Okay, this National Wetland Conservation Program was implemented to protect and conserve the important wetlands that are present in India. Okay, and this was implemented in 1985 itself and under this program, 115 wetlands have been identified till now by the Ministry of Environment and Forest and these wetlands requires urgent conservation and management initiatives. So the aim of this scheme is to conserve and use of wetlands in the country so as to prevent their further degradation. This is the aim of this the program by the government of India. And the objectives of this scheme is that why I am listing the objective here is because the UPC has the nasty habit of uh, uh, asking the the program a specific program and their objectives in the mains examination so please uh, memorize the objectives uh, broad objectives of this program and the objective is to lay down the policy guidelines for conservation and management of wetlands in the country that is laying down the policy policy formulation and to undertake intensive conservation measures in priority wetlands that is conservation and to monitor implementation of the program that is monetary role and to prepare an inventory of indian wetlands so these are the four important objectives that is one is the policy formulation role and the second one is the intensive conservation measures uh, of the priority wetlands the third is monetary role that is monitor monitoring role monitoring the implementation of the program the fourth is preparation of inventories of important wetlands in the country so here the central government has the role of coordination between various administrative agencies uh, working at the state level national and international level okay the central government has only a coordinatory role the real role the is present with the state government it has the implementation uh, role of under the national wetland conservation program because land is a state subject under the seventh schedule of the constitution of india so state has the great stake in conserving the uh, land that is wetlands uh, in the country so this national wetland conservation program has uh, a system of recognizing a wetland as wetland of national importance okay wetland of national importance for this it lays down certain criteria and this criteria has to be fulfilled before considering a wetland as a wetland of national importance thereby employing more energy in conserving these wetlands okay and this criteria as are same as that of uh, criteria that are fixed by the ramsar convention on wetlands okay this is an international convention on wetland and these criteria are and here the this wetland should contain a representative rare or unique example of national or near natural wetland type found within the appropriate biogeographical region so this if any wetland has rare unique wetland types that, that should be considered as national importance and the second is the wetland should support vulnerable endangered critically endangered species of ecological communities okay to conserve these uh, species that is of flora and fauna uh, certain wetland can be considered as natural na national importance and the third criteria is that if it should support flora and fauna that is plant and animal life important for maintaining biological diversity and the fourth criteria is that it should support flora and fauna at critical stages of their life uh, critical stages means uh, at the stage of breeding stage for the development the reproductive development of the animal or the plant okay and other critical stages so these are all the criteria and based on the criteria of water birds okay based on the criteria of water birds uh, we can um, we can declare a certain wetland as a wetland of national importance these include if a wetland supports more than 20000 of water birds okay that is considered as uh, such such and such a uh, national important wetland and the second thing is that if it regularly supports one percent of the individuals in a population of one species or subspecies of wet wetland birds okay uh, if it supports one percent of the individuals of a particular species of bird that is that area is considered as wetland okay and on the basis of criteria of fish we can also uh, declare as a wetland as a national important wetland okay uh, it, if it supports significant proportion of species subspecies or families of important fishes okay and 
if it access important source for food water recreation ecotourism educational opportunities and con conservation and cultural heritage if it fulfills all these important functions that that wetland can be considered as wetland of national importance so that's about a national wetland conservation program but under ramsar convention that is an international convention uh, india has the 26 ramsar sites considered as 26 wetlands considered as ramsar sites this includes three in uh, state of kerala that is ashtamudi wetland okay uh, sastamkotta lake vembanad coal wetland these three are in uh, uh, kerala okay and in Orissa, there are two wetlands, the Baitarnika mangroves and Chilika lake. In Madhya Pradesh, we have Bhoj wetland. In Himachal Pradesh, we have three important wetlands considered as Ramsar sites. Okay, And this, that is Chandratal wetland, Pong Dam lake, Renuka wetland. And in the state of Assam, we have Dipor Beel. In West Bengal, we have East Calcutta wetland. In Punjab, we have Harike lake, Kanjili and Ropar. In Jammu and Kashmir, we have most number of wetlands considered as Ramsar site. These are four. One is Ular Lake, Hokera Wetland, Surinsar Mansar Lake, and Somariri. And these four are uh, wetlands from uh, Jammu and Kashmir. And Rajasthan has two. That is uh, Kiyaladio National Park and Sambar Lake. And Andhra Pradesh has Koleru Lake. Manipur has Loktak Lake. And Tamil Nadu has Pant Kalimer and Tripura uh, that is Rudra Sagar Lake okay and this Uttar Pradesh has Upper Ganga River this has a wetland and the 26th uh, wetland has been added during uh, 2012 uh, that is Nalsarovar Bird Sanctuary of Gujarat so these are the 26 wetlands that are considered under Ramsar Convention as Ramsar sites these are internationally recognized okay uh, for inventory of wetlands please go through this uh, uh, link uh, that is not important from examination point of view if you are preparing for any interview uh, it may become come to use uh, thank you thanks for watching please subscribe subscribe to the channel